Why is it that Brandon Ayuk and his entire camp are out here acting like spoiled brats when it comes to the San Francisco 49ers? Because it works. That's why. If somebody came up to you on the street and said, I'll give you a hundred million dollars and all you have to do is pout around for a couple of months, each and every one of y'all will be turning into Charlie Brown. Wah, 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 wah. And if it was me and I also deserve that money, get ready America to meet the most miserable SOB around. But back to Brandon Ayuk though. Fans in Pittsburgh, Cleveland, and New England have all been waiting with bated breath to see if the 49ers are gonna trade Brandon Ayuk to their city, or if the 49ers are gonna cave into Brandon Ayuk's demands and make him one of the highest paid players in the entire NFL. And that's all before the Niners get a chance to extend Brock Purdy. A lot of what has happened with Brandon Ayuk this offseason, it feels unique, but it isn't. The new age of contract negotiations goes far beyond holdouts. These dudes were raised in the era of sub tweets, Instagram sneak disses, taking them out of your bio, unfollowing them. Like, do you think it bothers Kyler Murray when people call him immature for using his Instagram to fire the warning shot at the Arizona Cardinals management? No, because it eventually turned into $46 million annually. <laughs> you ain't gonna be mad about that or what anybody else has to say. So when Brandon Ayuk's girl gets on TikTok and blasts the 49ers, or when Ayuk unfollows the 49ers, or goes on with Ocho Cinco and Shannon Sharp to say he's comfortable walking away if they don't reward his almost 4,000 yards receiving in his first four seasons, that's all just part of the game, baby. It's business. It is not personal, no matter how personal it actually gets. I 100% understand that fans don't love it. Why should they? Brandon Ayuk is under contract, and as a former first rounder, he's about to make 180 times the average American salary in 2024. So people ain't gonna feel sorry for him. But just because something isn't relevant to your average Joe, doesn't mean it's not relative to Brandon Ayuk's chosen profession. He's clearly a top 10 wideout, and right now that type of talent means that you can and should expect to see a piece of paper with a one followed by eight zeros. Yes, eight of them. And should the 49ers pay it? That's a whole nother topic all to itself. But should Brandon Ayuk be balking at the money and <laughs> turning his nose up at it if it comes from a team like the New England Patriots as Schefter reported? Hell no. But he did watch New England waste his former Arizona State teammate and to kill Harry's talents. So maybe that has something to do with it. People say beggars can't be choosers, but Brandon Ayuk isn't a beggar in this situation. He's the one with all the leverage. The 49ers know that losing him critically hurts their chances to finally get a ring under Kyle Shanahan. And Brandon Ayuk knows that the 49ers will at least need to recoup assets if they do find a trade partner that he's willing to play for and sign a long-term deal with. And while it might be a surprise to some, there's such a quiet and hardworking guy who's gotten his whole family in on being collective malcontents during his negotiation process, you have to understand that this is a man who has repeatedly bet on himself and come out on top whether it was switching from DB to wide receiver at the Juco level or turning down Nick Saban to commit to Arizona State that way he could stay at the wide receiver position instead of switching back. This is a man who knows exactly what he wants and is willing to take the lesser travel path to get there. Hell, Brandon Ayuk has even given interviews that he never went out and partied at Arizona State because it would have taken away from his goals. Arizona State's one of the biggest party schools in the country. That's like going to Disneyland and staying off the rides. That's like eating a salad only at the steakhouse. That's like watching videos on Unafraid Show and not clicking subscribe. Come on. Tell a friend to subscribe, make sure to get notifications and everything else in between. It might seem like these social media based negotiation tactics and trade demands are the work of a scatterbrained malcontent, but Brandon Ayuk has tunnel vision. And if that amount of money was available to you, I'd like to think that you would throw whatever tantrum or whatever social media fit that it took to help reach your bank account. Let that sink in.